tell me your your general takeaways from the arc of the camp on on defense. What what are your expectations? So I'm I believe more in this pass rush than I did at the start of camp. I agree with that. Bryce Huff has had a better week and a half. I said one of my takeaways from New England and the New England game was Bryce Huff, and then he he followed it up. He, he's getting to the quarterback a little bit more. You're seeing that um, now. Part of it playing against a banged up offensive line, I, I imagine, helps. But I, I feel a little. I, I feel better about this pass rush. I think Jalen Carter has had a spectacular summer. I've been really impressed with 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 Jalen Carter. Puked There's, today. What's that? Puked today. Yeah, you and Jimmy are all over the puke. Uh, I mean, you're watching uh, practice and a guy's uh, throwing up on the field. How do you miss yeah. that? It's pretty interesting. That's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> so he, I've, I've been really impressed with him this summer. I'm still trying to figure out the linebackers. I know there's mm. a lot of buzz right now that the Eagles solved their linebacker situation. Uh, Wait, who's, who's, what buzz is that? Oh, there was... Um, a radio show yesterday I was listening to where the emphasis was like how he nailed it this year. And what? <laughs> what are we talking about? I Come mean, on. that's literally how it was. Okay, presented. Well, maybe let's maybe, maybe stop listening to everything. Well, that's for another day. We can okay. discuss that, but yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the linebacker situation. There's a part like Zach Bond. I know they love the physicality. I don't necessarily see it from like, um, an on the field perspective. I think Nicobe Dean's played better than him during the past week. I I think Devin White and Nicobe Dean's their best linebacker combination. But there's still there's a lot of unknown about the linebackers. I do think that their their linebackers are much better now than they were a year ago. Um I think they're much blasphemy. Deeper. Why is that blasphemy? Well, I get it. I get what you're saying, but they had one <laughs> they good had linebacker Ellis, last yes. year in Christian Ellis. Yes. This year they're they are much deeper. I mean, even Oren Burks, who returned to practice today. And it's going to be hard, I imagine, for him to make the yeah. roster given how much time he's missed. I thought he looked pretty good today. He's working, you know, with the twos and the threes. And between between Devin White and Zach Bond and Nicobe Dean and Jeremiah Charter Jr. and Oren Burks and even Ben Van Sumeren, th- that is a much deeper group of guys who could theoretically give you competent play than what they had last year. Which Zach do you like better, Bond or Cunningham? I mean, probably probably Cunningham because he was a linebacker. <laughs> But I, I have been I have been pleasantly surprised okay. with Zach Bond, given my expectations. Who do you think's played better this summer, Nicobe Dean or Zach Bond? I actually would say Bond on the whole, really? but I think that you're right that over the past week, Nicobe Dean yeah. has been more impactful. And do you think Devin White's been the best linebacker on the team this summer, or do you think it's just that he's probably, out there? Probably um, he is. I mean, he's certainly the most athletic. Um, it's just I mean, it's the hardest position to judge sure. of any position during during training camp because the level of physicality is different. You don't know what their responsibilities are. Uh, it's, it's very difficult, but I think, I think they are much deeper here than they have been in years past. And I mean, they continue to rotate. They continue to search for, uh, the, the right combinations. I, I guess white and Dean would be my guess. I think I would agree with you, but I, I think there will probably be some kind of role for, for Zach Vaughn early too. So I was having this conversation with, with, with somebody today. Do you think there's going to be a situation where, the two starters in Brazil at linebacker, if they have two starters out there, are not the two linebackers who play the most. Well, and here, 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 let me frame it hmm. this way. Do you think the first snap could be White and Bond, but then when, when we look at the snap counts the next morning or afternoon on, on True Media, or, the, or that night on True Media, we'll see that it's... Uh, it's Nicobe Dean outpacing Zach Bond. Um, I think my guess is Fangio wants to have a tandem and wants to do less rotating at linebacker. And so I think I think who he has on the field early is probably who's going to play the most. But I don't I, I don't I don't feel wedded to that. But that's my guess. What about you? Yeah, I, I do think that's 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 what he wants. It still surprises me that we that we see Bond with the first team every day this summer. It's been Bond, correct? To start, to start. That's yeah, that's that's first, my point. Yeah. The start. So we could take that what we will. Now behind them, behind them, I like the secondary a lot, or I like the corners a lot. I think they have five corners, or, or they have four corners right now that I'd be real comfortable with. 
I said five because I like Cooper DeGene. I haven't seen enough from Cooper DeGene in practice mm-hmm. to tell you that. But they have five guys that like I, I feel good about. I feel good about – I mean, I think Slay's had a good camp. I think so too. You know, and, and I thought Slay's day today, we talked about the interception, but also he had a pass break up down the right sideline, yes. played A.J. Brown. He's, he's still Slay. He hasn't lost that step from what I've seen. Yet. Um, yet. Yeah. Or yes. Yet. Yet. Okay. Uh, I, I like Ringo more than Rodgers. I've talked to people I respect who think it's the other way around. I think Ringo's played better for the reason that you mentioned, uh, which is Ringo doesn't get beat over top. Ringo gets beat in front of him, and I'd rather someone who gets beat in front of me than gets, than gets beat Although, over top. Although, to be fair, he did get beat over the top today by Devontae Smith. Yes. That was the, yeah. yeah. But generally, I agree with that, yeah. Uh, I I look at uh, Quinion Mitchell. Really impressed with him. We discussed that on the on our show on Monday. And I think Quinion Mitchell is going to start on the outside. And then... I'm I'm bullish on on DeGene whenever that comes. He's by the way, Cooper DeGene's going to play this weekend. Okay. Uh, he he's he said he'll he'll play Saturday. Uh, so we'll pay attention to that. I think that's going to be the most interesting thing in this game is the way DeGene looks. And then I really like Eli Ricks still. Like I I'm not ready to give up on Eli. I, I think he is. I think he is uh, too good to cut. Yes. I think I think if you f- find reasonable value in return. I'm, I'm sure. willing to trade him just because you're so deep. But yeah, I, I don't think that they would cut a player as uh, talented as, I don't know, he's, 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 he's a good player. He's, he's a good young player. He's, he's, he's got upside. He's got legit size. And I think he's wired the right way. Um, one snap today, one snap that, that caught my eye was with the first team nickel defense. It was, you know, your starting safeties, Reed Blankenship and C.J. Garner-Johnson. It was Quinion Mitchell on the outside. And it was Avante Maddox in the slot. And Avante Maddox has not spent a lot of time in the slot over the past week and a half because C.J. Garner-Johnson has been dealing with his injury and he's been, like, almost exclusively playing safety when they're in dime. He's out there sometimes. But I think that that could be, that could be the opening lineup week one. To get Avante on the field. To keep and, and to keep Quinion Mitchell outside. Outside. I disagree, but who does Vic Fangio trust more? Avante in the slot or Isaiah Rogers outside? I don't know. When you frame it like that, it's interesting. I, I still think I mean I, I, I think Ringo's better, but but we've seen Isaiah Rogers on the outside first up repeatedly throughout the past two weeks. Yeah, I agree. Well that's that's what's fun about a new guy. We don't know, right? Like we don't, yeah. we don't know what his MO is. Uh, is he going to completely flip this over the course of the next week and a half after like having the same guys start most of practice? I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's, it's fun to have a new, he's a very fun uh, supporting character in, in the drama that is like everybody's favorite TV show of the Eagles. Like everybody knows the main characters, but for this new season to have this new guy introduced, <laughs> who like is that. just this like crusty guy and yeah. is always telling the truth. You don't know necessarily what to expect. Great addition to just the the the, the drama of the Eagles. I agree. Personality. Uh, he's, he's much more compelling than Kellen Moore, even though Kellen Moore is so interesting. Yeah. From uh, like uh, you know how that offense is going to look. Before we get to the ads, like, I, I just want to know safety. How do you feel about safety? In what sense? Uh, I mean, if CJ's healthy, you feel good about CJ and Reed Blankenship. Do you think Reed Blankenship is better as a three, and that eventually that's Sidney Brown playing safety? Do you think? Uh, I think long term, eventually it's Sidney Brown. No, but this season, I'm saying. But um, yeah, I think I would be surprised if down the stretch it's not C.J. Garner Johnson and Sidney Brown. But C.J. Garner Johnson and Sidney Brown both have to prove that they can stay healthy. Yeah. Um, but I think Reed Blankenship is a is a good second safety. I think he's I think he's reliable. I think he's if he's the fifth best player of your uh, five defensive backs in nickel, I think you're in good shape. And Turkey's that Sidney Brown is on the fifty three. Oof, this is, I mean, this is what's going to swing. Oh, uh, so don't give it away. Yeah. I, I, I lean towards pup right now, but it's like 45, 55. I don't, I don't know. I Me don't too. know what to go off. Cause he had, we haven't seen him working off to the side. You know, we haven't seen him start to yes. do anything. You're right. And yeah. then the other thing that's going to, you know, trip people up is, is the new IR rules. Like Trevor Keegan is all of a sudden injured. Yep. Do they, is he a guy you, you put on injured reserve, right? Uh, does somebody else get hurt? during the game on Saturday that we're not even considering and they get put on IR. And those, 
Now you can put the guy on IR on the cutdown day and still they can be designated as a return. And I stand by what I said that I think Caden Stearns is going to be on IR. And you disagree with me. You think he's just a flat-out cut? I don't and then, know. And then put I on just, practice squad. I just... If there are other guys who get injured, you can only put it on. You can only use two IR guys, yes. then I don't think they're going to worry about Caden Stearns. You can I think only if use, they have one. You can only burn, use two ahead of the fifty-three. Right. You can do more afterwards. Yeah, I understand. You can carry a guy, and then yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're going to carry him. No, I think they're going to designate him for IR for one of those two spots. May, yeah, but what I'm saying is, if they have other guys who are even remotely injured that they can use that spot on instead of Caden Stearns, they will do that. Okay. I think there's a lot of. Uh, I think they like Caden Stearns in that building. That's a very educated um, viewpoint. I believe you. Yeah. But also, <laughs> it's not very cocky. A very educated viewpoint. That's <laughs> that, that's 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 informed speculation. That's a better way of framing it. But the guy just got released, got waived twice. I think yeah. they can probably trust that if they wave wave injure him, he will make it through, and then they can then they can sign him to the practice squad or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I don't. I think they want to okay. keep him in the building, but I don't know that they need to use an IR spot on him. Monday show is going to be fun. Mm. I, I assume Monday we'll, we're talking about the 53-man roster. Yeah, I is imagine that, so, yeah. Okay. I, but what are we going to talk about on Tuesday? Well, well Tuesday it's happening. It's I dynamic. Know. Yeah, I, I understand. It's, it's like there's cuts around the league. Things are, you know. I totally agree. Tuesday's like a free agency show. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it'll be fun. I got my text uh, rocking, yeah. Got on, your text rocking? On Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be doing the show. Maybe I. Oh, you're going to be bre breaking stuff. I'm working on We're it. We're going to zack, zack, zack. For sure. Love that. For sure. We all silly like the mayor. 